Hi, this is Lamia Walker from House Sit Match, and we're starting a new series of videos with house sitters and homeowners. And I'd like to introduce you to Bragi Jonsson from Iceland, the house sitter with us now for three years. Hi, Bragi. Thank you for joining us. Hi, today. <laughs> Bragi, can you tell me a little bit about your house sitting and how you first started house sitting and why? Well, I was uh, kind of on the internet browsing and, and then I found out about this and uh, I found actually a few platforms and um, I joined, I think, four of them. And uh, But at the end, I decided, okay, uh, I'll join the uh, house it match like, and, and just stay with them. And, and uh, uh, I mean, uh, the thing was uh, that I had to look at was uh, both what do I get out of it price-wise and also service-wise. So I ended up staying with House It Mats at that time and uh, started my house it in Spain, which was very good. Oh, that's wonderful. And um, now traveling can be quite expensive. So how do you um, fund your house sitting? Because you travel for quite a few months in the year, don't you? Yeah, what I did uh, in the beginning was that I worked uh, and uh, I got some money together and uh, uh, then I decided, okay, I'll go away for a few months. So uh, I ended up, uh, for the first three years, I was out for about, I think, six months or something like that. So both doing house hits as well as uh, traveling just by myself. But mainly it, it was like I came home, worked for about six months, eight months or something like that got some money together and just went out there and house sitting and traveling so that's the way i did it oh it sounds like fun it sounds like an ideal world traveling around and then going home for a little bit um so now what's the most important thing i mean some people say it's the animals in the house sitting that matter most is is that your point of view for me that is yeah definitely because i say as well in my profile that i prefer sitting with animals and I have tried both, except for some people in Spain, and they also had a house in Denmark. And at one stage, I was uh, house sitting for them just in an empty house. And uh, I found that boring. Uh, and uh, I love the company of the animals. So that's why I say in my profile, I want to stay with animals. Of course, I would take the other thing if that was for a week or something, but I prefer animals. and. Uh, it's such a good company and uh, for me okay I am supposed to go out walking and stuff so the dogs are a good reason for going out walking. So they're good exercise then? Oh yeah definitely my my doctor is very happy with me these days. <laughs> well that's good to hear I'm glad that house sitting is good for your health that's really good. <laughs> Um, so it sounds like you've traveled quite a bit with house sitting. I mean, you mentioned Spain. Where else have you been? Well, I've been in Spain, uh, Denmark, and England. I've been uh, over uh, a few places in Spain, south, north, uh, and uh, in England, uh, a few places. Just came from a sit there for, I think, yeah, for a week because it fitted into my working schedule. So. Yeah, England, Denmark, Spain, and Spain is kind of a favorite because of the weather, but even though I ended up staying in a very sunny week in England just before. Wonderful. It sounds like you have a soft swap for the UK and Spain. Yeah, I do, I do, because I, like, for example, I, I stayed there now for a week in a village named Dorchester in Oxfordshire. Been there before, but uh, uh, in the fall, winter, and it was so cold, but this time it was uh, just sunny and lovely. So, and uh, of course, had a good company of three lovely dogs. So that helps too. Wonderful. So now, after three years of house sitting with us at House Sit Match, and also nine fabulous reviews that you've earned, you've got a five star record. Um, have you got any top tips for house sitters who are thinking of starting house sitting as a journey and adventure? Any top tips for them? Yeah, I would say uh, communication is number one, two, one, three. And that can be done in many ways. You uh, have your messenger, like a, a Facebook messenger or Skype or whatever you find good. And that is a very important thing for me, for example, is as a house sitter is to have a good communication before I go to the place. 
get to see some pictures, get to talk to the owners and explanations about different things that need to be done. For example, if uh, there are some medical issues and just be sure that you can manage that. And uh, for the homeowners, I would say the same, just the other way around, as well as uh, looking at the profile. Profile is an important thing. Make a good profile as a house sitter, as well as a house owner. And uh, just feel free to look at it and see if there's anything there that might give you some red light or whatever. Just uh, be in good touch with uh, each other. And uh, I think that is a very important thing. Bragi, that's really helpful. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you taking part. And well, I hope you have lots of fabulous house sits going forward. Happy matching. Well, I will, uh, I will uh, go in one and a half year. I will just totally go house sitting and not do anything else. I will retire in about one and a half year. And that's when I'm going to start really, really going house sitting. So thanks for all your help, Lamia. Yeah, it's been great to be with House Sit Match. Oh, it's always a pleasure, Braggy. Thank you again. Bye-bye for now. Okay, Bye-bye now for now.